and welcome to this second Kodu tutorial about creatable objects. Uh, in our last video we looked at how to generate creatables in a Kodu game. So creatables are objects which spawn as a result of something happening in your game. So in our game for instance when the player collected a coin an enemy appeared which would then shoot at the player. That's really useful uh, but we want to look at another method of creatables now which is making things that spawn automatically so for instance enemies that appear at a set interval during the game um, I've already as you can see got a couple of characters in this game which are pre-programmed and ready to go so what I suggest is that if you haven't watched the first video you really need to have a go at that one and try the programming in there and then when you've watched that come back here and you'll be all set so if you need to uh, follow video one I'll see you back here in a few minutes all set great what you'll also notice by the way just very quickly is that I've removed some of the programming from my cycle character because there's no coin to collect anymore so we don't need the when and the do's for what happens when you collect the coins so here is my level and I need to create something to make my enemy blimps appear every 10 seconds so I'm going to create a spawn point uh, and a spawn point is just an area in the level where the objects will appear and it doesn't really matter what kind of object you use as your spawn pointer and you'll see why that is in a minute so I'm going to just click here and add an object and I'm going to just add a rock uh, let's choose a normal rock and I'm actually not going to want that rock to be visible because uh, I don't think you need to see the spawn point and in fact you might actually definitely not want it to get that to be visible in the game so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it invisible I'm going to change settings and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom you could have a visible spawn point if that's what you wanted and the factory was quite nice if you want to do that but for a rock I think I would rather have that I think it looks better when it's invisible so I'm just going to select the invisible option and now you can just very faintly see the outline of that and if I was to run the game neither the rock nor the creatable are visible so I'm now going to attach some code to the rock because it's going to be the rock that effectively that generates the blimp so I'm going to go into my uh, rock program and this bit's very simple I just want to set it so that after in this case 10 seconds of a lap when 10 seconds have elapsed I want it to create a blimp and that bit is super easy let's run it and see what happens see what that does so I'm just going to bimble about here for a few seconds and you should see any second now there it is there's my blimp appears so that works perfectly but I can do more interesting things with this idea than that so what I'm going to do is do two things I, first of all I'm going to create multiple spawn points so I can have more than one enemy appear which will make the game a bit more challenging and I'm going to also set it so that if too many bad guys appear the game will end because they'll have won so this is how I do that the first thing I'm going to do is add a bit of code to this rock if I can, oops, I can find my rock there we go so what I need to do first of all is find a way of counting how many enemies have been spawned and I'm going to do that by using score so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do I don't need a when because this happens automatically as a result of the last line happening so again if I wanted to add to score I want it to be the red score it doesn't matter which score you use uh, as long as it's not a score you're using elsewhere in your game score red plus one point because we want obviously to add one per creatable object that appears and I'm going to move that shove, shift, blah, shove that along there we are so that will happen automatically and then my next job is to actually check to see whether at least I don't know in my case I'm going to say five enemies have appeared 
So I'm going to do uh, when. So I'm going to do when. And what I want to do is do when scored red. And then I want to compare. So I want if there's five or more. So that would be if there was five. And this one is going to greater than a week or two, five or more. So when there are, when the score is five, which means there must be five blimps, then what I want it to do is end the game. So that's the code I've now attached to my rock. Now, the final thing to do is I could just wait for five blimps to appear from there or I could as I say generate multiple ones so if I go copy I can then paste that same I can that same rock and clone it effectively and put it somewhere else on my map so now I've created three which means the game is going to end fairly quickly because it's going to generate six blimps but you'll you can see how easy it is to do that and then if I click on program you'll notice it's copied all of my coding across so I don't have to reprogram each rock so the little tip is there to make sure that you've, you've finished the programming for each of the things that you're going to do and you notice that automatically set to invisible so let's run the game and what should happen first of all is you should see three blimps appear in a minute there we go there's my first three so he's got his work cut out there and in a few seconds another three will appear and the game ends because remember I set it so that it was if there was five or more so obviously what you might want to do is change do your own limits you might not want to have a limit that ends the game that's up to you but it's just a useful little feature and you've seen how you can now create objects that spawn automatically after a period of time and you can experiment with that as well so now it's time to go away and play and tinker and see what you can come up with in your own Kodu game. So good luck making use of Creatables.